you guys welcome back to my channel today we are doing a scale figure unboxing of course what else would this video be if not a figure unboxing video but today we are unboxing the JJK figure of Yuta and Rika by Shibuya Scramble and this figure goes with this Gojo figure right over here that I did an unboxing for a while back. Obviously I'm going to display him with Gojo, I just have to make some room here on this shelf. But um, I don't know if I said it, but it's a 1-7 scale and yeah I'm just gonna get right into it so please make sure you like and subscribe, let me know what you think. I believe this figure was originally supposed to come out in November of last year but it got delayed. I feel like it got delayed multiple times though. I could be wrong but that's been happening a lot with figures. They've been getting delayed and delayed and delayed which sucks sometimes but sometimes it's kind of a saving grace to your bank account. All right so first up right when you open the box you have the instructions and the box smells <laughs> inside um but okay okay so he's all wrapped up in plastic or they're all wrapped on in plastic pretty well see they've got like a ton of plastic even on inside the blister box okay so as you can see this figure already comes assembled onto the base i don't i believe you can still take it off the base but it just comes attached to it which I kind of like because it saves me the anxiety of, you know, putting it on and being afraid that I'm going to break it. So I kind of like that. The base is also similar to the Gojo one. As a matter of fact, they're actually similar to both Gojo figures. I know um, both Gojo figures, I believe, have the same sculptor. So that might be like why. But yeah, I just want to point that out too. Um, except, of course, Yuta's base is red and it's like this blood red which I kind of like pretty neat I mean the base is super neat in itself like the inside of it has a lot more detail and has a lot more of these like liquid I don't know I'm just gonna call it blood I, I know it's probably not blood but I'm just gonna call it that but it has like these this liquid blood these puddles rising inside and it's so freaking cool i believe you guys will see it better in the b-roll but it is so freaking cool and i love how they decided to go with that despite you know yuta and rika blocking it and like you barely being able to like really see it until, unless you're like close up i think it's just a nice touch to be honest a nice addition to detail um as you can see it looks like Yuta is supposed to be holding something, which he is. He's supposed to be holding his sword, which I have over here, and it is taped down. Okay, so there he is with his sword kind of pointed at the enemy, and he's protecting Rika, and I think this figure looks pretty great. The only thing I would say is something about his face is a little off i don't know if it's lack of emotion going on like maybe his face just seems too bland where it's not like showing as much emotion as i'd like it to i feel like if he's pointing his sword at the enemy and protecting rika who is so important to him i feel like he should have at least more of a protective kind of face going on i know this artwork was inspired by one of the manga or yeah, like the f first manga cover or Jujutsu Kaisen Zero manga cover. So I don't, I can't really remember how that cover looked and how Yuta's face looked, how much emotion he was showing behind that image. But um, yeah, I kind of wish there was just a touch more, even if they had to add it, despite like the artwork in the manga not having it, you know what I mean? Um, but overall, I mean, the detailing in this figure is, awesome it's amazing there's so much shading going on i love as always just like with the gojo one i love the strands of hair in both yuta and rika i kind of already expected yuta's hair to be really well detailed and have like great sculpted strands on them because of how well gojo's turned out but i was still curious to see how they would execute rika's since her hair is much longer and they did 
such an amazing job. You can see each individual strand of hair. As always, I love the folds going on in both their clothing. Also, their nails and toenails have this like shine to them, as do their eyes. And so did the Gojo one, I believe. But yeah, I think this is so neat. One thing I wanted to point out that I kind of wish they did, I don't know if you'll be able to tell in the video or even in the B-roll, but um, where Yuta's hand is laying on Rika's head, it's not actually touching it or actually cupping her head. It's kind of just floating there. And I kind of wish that they actually had his hand touching her head because it's kind of like awkward at this point, I feel like. But really, it's not that big of a deal, I don't think. I feel like the overall beauty of this figure kind of outweighs that like minor detail that I'm kind of just, you know, playing devil's advocate on. In case you were wondering, this figure does not like wobble or anything on its base because he is attached to the base with one of his feet and on the back, he's attached to one of the like blood spot latches. I honestly think this is the best Yuta figure out there. I know there was another one with Erika in her cursed form where she's kind of behind Yuta, but even though I think that is a great figure, it's just not something that I can see sitting on my shelf. And I kind of wanted something of Erika in her human form too. I kind of think that's a little more beautiful. You know what I mean? Kind of like with Denji from Chainsaw Man, I feel like if I want a figure of him, I'd want him, despite <laughs> despite it being the point of the show, um, I'd still want a figure of him without his chainsaw head and just with his regular face. So yeah, and I think Rika looks absolutely stunning over here. She looks adorable. She's so well detailed. It would be such a shame not having her in her human form like this. I do believe Yuta and Rika can't be separated from each other on this figure. I think they're just sculpted together like that, which I'm absolutely okay with and I think is a great idea because it kind of, A, they can't be separated if that's not a metaphor in itself. But <laughs> also you don't have to worry about Rika falling off Yuta. So I think that's a perfect way to execute something like this. I appreciate that they did that. Um, absolutely love it. Also, just like the Gojo figure, I am absolutely in love with how they execute the hands and the shading in the hands and how you can see the bones in like his fingers and in his wrists. Um, Rika, I believe because she's younger, she has like a softer sculpt, so you don't really see that much detail in her hands. Um, also, her hands are smaller, but in Yuta's, you can really see it. You can even see kind of like this line going through his arm that's holding the sword. And these are like one of the things that are like so little, but like make such a huge difference to the figure. It's a work of art. I absolutely love it. Yeah, I also really adore how they executed Yuta's shirt especially like the puffy parts of his sleeve. I think it's so freaking neat. I know I sound like a fucking broken record where I'm like, oh, that is so cool. That is so neat. I love this. I love that. But like, I really do, you guys. I think they executed this so well. So that is the Yuta and Erika 17th scale JJK figure. I'm in love with it. Like I said, I have to move around this shelf so I can place Yuta next to Gojo. I do kind of want to keep Dazai there because I feel like Dazai and Gojo have like literally they're the same person different font um, until I can get enough Bungo Stray Dogs stuff to make it its own shelf but like until then those two guys those two goofballs are sticking together but um yeah I will just have to make room for Yuta and Rika and I absolutely love this movie so I'm so glad that I have something in my collection that represents it. And yeah, this is the Yuta and Rika 17 scale figure. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. And again, let me know what you think of this figure and if you have one as well. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye bye guys.